The next recipe is maple nut soft serve. The ingredients are one half cup of water, more if needed, one quarter cup of dates, one eighth teaspoon of maple flavoring, two bananas frozen, and one tablespoon of chopped nuts, and that's optional. So let's see how to make this. Okay. Now what's the soft serve thing? What's that? Well, like a, a custard? Is it like an ice cream? Okay. A lot of times people will get a soft serve, it'll be in a cone, it'll be kind of swirled yes. up yes, like yes, that. Yes, yes, Well, we found that we really liked smoothies, but it's not quite as satisfying to drink a meal as to eat it with a spoon. Right. So we decided that we would go from um, smoothies to just making them thicker. Oh. Less fluid than the smoothie does, and then you end up with a very nice thick soft serve. Nice, instead. I love that. Okay, so again, we're back to our blender. Okay. If someone's blender is not strong, they may just wanna uh, let the bananas defrost just for maybe five minutes or mm, so, just mm -hmm. to soften them up a little bit. Mm -hmm. But we've got some bananas that were nice and speckled, mm -hmm. and we let them freeze after we peel them just in Ziploc bags. And if someone is concerned about their blender, they could even slice up the bananas and put them on a cookie sheet to freeze them so that the pieces would be even smaller. Ah, so just have to know idea. your kitchen tools. Right, right, Okay. That's a great idea. And the bananas in this are very, very nice because it gives it a creaminess. If you have a lot of fruits in here, like frozen strawberries or peaches, the more, uh, high water content fruits, it comes out icier. The bananas mm. give it a creaminess. Nice. That kind of is reminiscent of full fat ice cream. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So we've got our dates again. We've taken the pits out of those. And we're just going to put a little dash, little dash of maple flavoring. It's pretty strong stuff. Or mm -hmm. you could use the maple syrup if you like. Mm -hmm. And then some water. And just like I said, a little bit of water or you could put juice, or you could use almond milk or soy milk or whatever milk you might like. So it's, these are very flexible recipes. And to make any kind of soft serve, you could maybe add some frozen strawberries to that or blueberries Ooh, or blackberries. Love it. But I'm gonna say that for us, the base always has to be bananas because we want that creamy, that creamy ice cream feeling. Yes. That's right, mm -hmm. that's right. Now we're gonna jog this a little bit. Okay. So you kind of pulse it? We're gonna you... pulse it a little bit. Uh -huh. We'll just work it just a little bit here. Let's see if we can get it down lower. There we go. So is the idea to have it chunky or smooth? We want it smooth. We want it smooth, um, but there we go. We'll get it. You can see it's getting creamy there. If we added more fluid, it would blend up very quickly without having to adjust it, but then you wouldn't have ice cream. Right. So we want the soft serve consistency, right. which means we're gonna work it for just a little bit. Right. And if somebody has a powerful blender like this one, you could actually double this recipe. Ah. So it's a little bit harder for a Vitamix to make the smaller amounts, oh. simply because it's this, this is a very powerful blender. Yeah. There you go. I think one more time and we're going to be good. Okay, let's see, get this nice and creamy for you. There we go. Okay. Nice. And you can actually see it has some body in there. Yeah. We still see the swirls. Yes. Okay. I want to taste it. Okay. Let me put it. I'll put it in this bowl first. Okay. And I'll just take a little. Okay. I'm just tasting just a little bit. Okay. You can see that's got body. Yes. It's going to stand up. And if you like your dates smoother in mm. there, mm. then you just go ahead and blend it longer or soak the dates if you want it smoother. And of course, if you really want to make it special, you make it maple nut. Right? Yes. Oh, I should have gotten that before. This is, <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. You know what? It's very creamy mm -hmm. and it tastes like ice cream. Yes. It's all without any bananas, dairy. Without any dairy. And, so and if you don't add the walnuts on there, without any fat. 
Mm. So it's a perfect mm. for those who might have a lactose intolerance or just would prefer not to eat dairy products. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. I like what you did with the banana because it does give it that creamy consistency. Mm -hmm. Low calorie. And the flavor. Yes, and the flavor. Mm -hmm. And low calorie. Yummy. Yes. <laughs> if you are interested in inviting Leslie Kaza to your church for a cooking seminar or to help your community to attain a healthier lifestyle, you can contact her at 4204 Jackson Avenue, Memphis, Tennessee, 38128. That's 4204 Jackson Avenue, Memphis, Tennessee, 38128. You can call her at 731-798-1106. That's 731-798-1106. Or you can email her at leslie.caza at gmail.com. I do. Tell us about the cookbook. The cookbook has about 160 recipes in it. 130 of them are gluten-free for those who need that. Ooh. And we didn't plan it that way. That's just the way it worked out. So they're yummy and the, many of them are gluten-free and there's a big variety from breakfast to desserts. Oh, that's so good. If you're transitioning and you wanna know how to cook some really good vegan meals, get a cookbook and just Practice. Make it your, your make your kitchen your laboratory. There right? we go.